I'll type in pdfscape.com and then click free online and then next click upload pdf to pdfscape and then choose the file that you would like to upload or that you would like to attach to pdfscape I'll be choosing English worksheet So I attached this PDF file to PDF Scape. By the way, this is a worksheet which I got from Canva. There is already a built-in um, worksheet there. So let us say I would like my students to fill this in, this upper part of the worksheet. Now in my previous tutorial on PDF Scape, I mentioned there on how you can provide a single line space for text and multiple, multiple line space for text. So we are going to do that again. Now for this part, wherein we will only put a space for a single line text. So we will be using form field and then choose text and then select. And then form um, rectangle for the that will provide space for the students to type in their their info here and then again you may change the font style say you would like Verdana they would like the text to be bigger so I'll put um, 24 you can click bold and italicize if you would like and then you can change the color, change the color to blue. So that means when the student receives this file and then when they type in their name, their teacher's name, their transaction date, the settings will be this one. So the settings of the text will be in Verdana, size 24, color blue. Now let's say you would like a space for multiple line text. So you are going to click form field and then choose text paragraph. Say for this one. Okay, again you may change the settings here if you are done you are done there is a button here which says click here to disable you have to hit that okay. and then this also requires a single line space for text so again we will be using um, text only the type is text Okay, when you're done, hit click here to disable. Next, let us try to use the other editing tools in the PDF scape. Let us try putting or removing something from here. Let's say I want to remove this line, this line here. So I'll click white out here on the left side up your screen and then you're just going to cover that when you're done click always um, hit click here to disable I would like to remove this also but you can still move this and you can delete it if you change your mind but for now I'm going to cover that and then if you would like to insert some a, a text on your PDF, PDF copy or PDF file again go back to the left side where you can see the menu click text for adding text and let's say I would like to put send this ok 
Okay, and then you can... Oh, wait. Then you can still resize this. You want to make it smaller, you can change the color, you can change the font style. You can have that in bold and then... Uh, you can, you can uh, adjust this. Next, you can also uh, put an image here in the PDF. Um, copy in the PDF file. So, for you to do that, you click here, image. Let's say I'm going to put my e-stamp on the worksheet. So, you choose file, click choose file. And then choose the file you're going to, choose the image you're going to put there, attach there. And just click anywhere so that your image will appear. Okay, this is my e stamp. So we put it there. Okay. Next, what if you would like to underline something for emphasis or for whatever purpose? You click line here. So I'm going to underline this, these words. And then you may change the color of that. See, blue. I'm going to change this to blue also. This one, I'm going to change this to red. And then also you may change the line width. Mm, let's say, I'll make it 5. one I'll make it if 14 this I'll make this one 8 now what if you would like to encircle something here so you click on circle I'm going to encircle the title Since this is in this filled with um, the solid color red, so you and you want it to be, you want the content to be seen. You click here, fill, and then click this one. And then also you may change the color of the border. Let's say you use yellow, and then you can also change the border width. So I'll make this thinner, say four. Then you can you can resize that. You can even transfer that. If you change your mind, you can transfer it or you can delete it. You can also put um, rectangle here. And change the color to green. And then you may also check um, use PDF state for checking. Let's say um, a, a student submitted their work in PDF file also, and then you would like to check it. You would like to put check mark. There's an available check mark here. You can change the color of that. Then resize it. And then if you're done, don't forget to hit click here to disable. We also have the freehand tool here, and this is what the freehand tool does. You can write on your PDF file. So that's it for today and watch out for the next video tutorial on the ad on using other tools here from PDFscape. Thank you!